welcome to another episode of Loot Crate here on Pastiche Skin. Today we're doing Loot Gaming. This is the Loot Gaming Crate for the month of June in 2016. Of course, you probably knew that from the title of the video, so... Um, maybe that was just redundant. Am I just being redundant with this? Yeah, whatever, we're going to go inside of it. Inside the box! Right, we're going to grab the t-shirt immediately and take it out to the wide! How's it going, people? It's nice to see you again. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for coming back to Pass Each of Skin. Today we're checking out a battle crit. A competitive crit. A crit that has Street Fighter as one of the contents for it this month. Yeah, man. So, it's not even really saying Street Fighter, it's just saying FIGHT. Um, red is a Street Fighter color. This actually has versions of the characters in the striping of it that looks like they're from Street Fighter Alpha, I think. But the design of the characters, it looks like Alpha. Like, does that look like Alpha characters to you? I mean, that looks like a Ryu, Ken with long hair, Chun-Li in her uh, not dress, but you also have Zangief and other people in there. I don't know. It's a, <laughs> it's kind of a, it's a nice piece of art. I think it might be uh, lifted from like the Udon uh, comics style. But um, this is actually a pretty nice red t-shirt. Who actually did the design this? Uh, let's just put whatever else. Material feels reasonably comfortable and it doesn't feel too stretchy. It doesn't feel bad. Um, does feel a bit cheap though, and the sleeves feel quite small in the way they're actually kind of stitched in. I don't know. I don't know why they're actually cinched like this. Maybe it's actually so you can hide a pack of cigarettes up there and it cinches in tight and it holds it into place. I don't know. <laughs> but yep, our T-shirt is Street Fighter themed, so we've got combat on our mind. Who else we're going to see beating the crap out of things in this crate? I'm not too sure. Street Fighter has got the new Street Fighter V release out for a while now, but uh, have anybody been following that? Have you followed the release? Have you heard anything? Do you know? Do you know? Yeah, they just released the story mode like two weeks ago. No, 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 I'm serious. I, like, stop laughing. The story mode just came out like literally a couple of weeks ago. The game's been out for, what, two and a half months? So it makes sense because if Capcom were trying to get it out in time for their competitive gaming, uh, for their competitive market for over the summer, for the conventions and whatever else. In fact, I was at MCM Con uh, just there last weekend and I ended up seeing people sitting playing the game, queuing up and enjoying themselves. It looks pretty, it looks nice, but um, I don't know, maybe it's just my, I'm feeling spoiled by games like uh, Persona 4 Ultimate Arena or the Guilty Gear series or Blaz Blue. But I, I, fighting games are great and fun to play with your friends, but if you don't have a constant supply of friends that you're going to sit next to and play competitively against, and you're not really up for going against the people that are insane and online in most of those games, a story mode is really important, and to have a game released at full price without that, and then just add in as DLC later on, ooh, ooh, no, 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 Capcom, no, 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 you're lucky that Resident Evil's on its way back now, that it's actually got a really cool game release, you don't want to be doing stuff like that. Alright, what else have we got in the grid here? Let's grab our first object. What we have here is a pop vinyl, it's from Overwatch, and it is of Tracer. So yeah, guys. I'm about to check out some tiny tracer butt. Um, <laughs> has everybody else been playing Mario Overwatch? Yes, I have as well. It's a great game. It's competitive multiplayer is amazing crack. It's got this ridiculous kind of like balance, counterbalancing system for like how the uh, the heroes fight against each other. Like there's always a counter for the character that you're playing as and you know your team's gonna probably switch to them. This is a really nice figure, actually, considering the fact that I pop vinyls. I tend to, I do like their head. The heads always feel the same to me, and they always put me off because of that. But they have such a weird torso and size on it. I mean, there you go. There's your tracer butt. Getting up close. Super close tracer butt. So that pose has been banned. We have to put it on the shelf and keep it so it's not looking in the wrong direction. The um, figure's well enough made. It's another pop vinyl figure. And uh, I kind of like that. That's not too bad. Hmm. Although, I'm looking at the detailing work on it, and there's a lot of really bad paint work on this particular figure that I have. Like, a lot of the edges and everything around, and even the head doesn't seem to like be sitting on really correct. I'm not a huge... Uh, I'm, retru I'm retracing and taking back what I said about Tracer being cool. It actually looks not that well made. And, well, thankfully it stands, because I was uh, worried about the balance of it there for a wee second. Overwatch, um, obviously the big game at the moment, everybody's playing it and Blizzard are making hand over fist money. I, I gotta say, it's the cartoonish um, world that this all happens in, like all the short Pixar movies they've released so far. 
have looked absolutely amazing and the gameplay is really really fun but like any game like uh, Team Fortress or the this com kind of competitive multiplayer where there's no progression of it I'm looking I'm actually looking to see what Blizzard will do next what 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 are they going to increase the amount of heroes are they going to give new loadouts to the characters are they going to just sell hats are we going to see story based kind of like competitive missions which are set in new locations are we going to see a series of new short movies um there's been reports that they're doing a feature film and i'm not too concerned about that being like the big push especially after warcraft has done marginally well over here but done massively well in china so i suppose with the fact that overwatch is now kind of replaced league of legends almost even as a one of the biggest games that are being played in esports especially in korea and china we're going to just see this game per maintaining this and probably in about six months or probably coming up to christmas we'll see a themed pack in the vein that uh, we see uh, tvf2 does whenever it comes to seasonal events and then we'll just have that looping throughout their servers for the next few years whenever it gets cheap i'll buy it to play more uh i enjoy the beta and that was about it for me so what else has we got to go through all right next thing up is a hat which okay speaking of team fortress team fortress cap with a scout logo in the front of it i imagine for the red team so I'm assuming there actually was a possibility of guys are getting the red or blue team caps in this. Oh, it actually has a wee logo in the bottom of it there as well for Team Fortress 2. So, yeah. Speaking of Team Fortress 3, they balanced it out with having a Team Fortress object and a Overwatch object in the same crate. Again, as always, baseball caps just don't fit me. Look at this. It doesn't sit right in any way, shape or form. And they can't close the back of it. Look. <sighs> caps. I've got more baseball caps now than I really thought I would ever own. Um, I would I never would buy these for myself. Uh, these are, like I could see, I, might, I know I've seen people's houses where they just sit with them on their shelves, like just lined one after another. I'm never going to do that. So, I, I don't get it. It's, it's, it's not for me. All right, what do we got here? We have a mouse pad, but I'm not too sure about the characters that are appearing in it. Was it Rob Bobbin? I don't recognize the characters here. I don't think. Look around and see if there's actually anybody that is really, really familiar. Um, no. In fact, if anything, I think they're like little approximations of characters from multiple games. They look like little gnomes and little soldiers and stuff. Maybe it's all creatures from Warcraft or something, but they're all done in a very cutesy style. Let's get that a proper closer look so you can see. So they're all characters done in a cutesy style, in a nice big comfortable mouse mat. Now, um, I really wish I was a person who PC gamed and had a regular setup where I could be sitting with this quite comfortably on my desk or whatever else. But um, mouse mats really have no use for me because I console game more than anything else and I'm on a control pad and I don't need that kind of like nice big open surface to get my micro in really well. So um, yeah, this is nice. Um, but uh, not something that I'll be really concerned about using. But a nice big mouse mat, really good, big size of it. And then it feels that it has a good texture and a good rubbery grip on it. Well, what else we got in here? We have Arena, well, oh, combat, combat arena. Arena, June 2016, that's a really nice pin. Nuke Gaming does nail it with the pins. They actually look really, really nice in a lot of cases. Um, I'm not too excited about this one. Like, I mean, it essentially just looks like a Coliseum. Yeah, Coliseum Arena looks, nice it looks like a decent quality pin but nothing kind of like to write to home about 